Tell us the story. What happened? Well, he kind of snuck up on me. He came in. I was on a kind of a point where two creeks meet up, kind of at a fork. Uh, so I set up where I could see both sides. And then he came from behind me to the right. And uh, couldn't hear nothing. It was mostly windy. Windy all morning. Yep. Um, but yeah, kind of snuck up on me because I didn't, didn't hear him for a while until he was already about 50, 55 maybe uh, from me. And he's kind of kind of angling toward me, so I just froze up. He kind of looked straight at me, but uh, I was froze up. Everything's windy and stuff moving all around me. He didn't bother at all. Didn't just, smell you? Didn't smell me at all. Wind was going in my face, and he was kind of that way. So eventually, I was just being patient with him. Got into some brush and stuff, so I was able to turn around. There's a trigger stick in this <laughs> chair bag, but I got a... I got my trigger stick swung around when he got behind some brush and stuff so I was aiming good so when he came out of the brush at one point he got just outside a just outside a tree and then I was like I can take him there but I'll mess up the shoulders so I waited about 10 more seconds gotta he get took the meat that's the real trophy <laughs> so meat's the real trophy yeah so he took one more step and I took him and it was a watched him fall about 50 yards later so awesome. I could I could tell it was a good shot all right what you got there Got me a 10 point. That's an awesome little mountain buck there. Good little gnarly rack. Got a little torque over right there. Kind of a crab claw. Big old spikes there. It's a good one. Yep.